Hello and welcome back to another exciting session. I'm your host Mahesh Karya. You're watching me on YouTube now. And in this session, I'm gonna take you through Mave. So we are going to install everything from scratch in uh, this MacBook. And you can use Windows, by the way. It's all your choice. But uh, for uh, building iOS apps and uh, Mac uh, apps, uh, you need a MacBook. And there is one more drawback. Uh, that you can't install or run your windows app inside uh, this uh, visual studio so yeah without wasting any time let's deep dive into it so mave if you haven't heard about mave mave is a tool that allows you to create a cross-platform application using c and uh, in this tutorial we are going to learn this from very scratch uh, and we are going to use command line to uh, like to write the commands in order to create a Mave app. So it's still not uh, even production ready, but in a while you will get the update where you can create a cross platform apps like Flutter. So this is not the kind of uh, competitor of Flutter because uh, there are kind of issues with uh, their web uh, bindings and all. So it's still in kind of preview, let's say, but uh, in a while uh, there will be a uh, lots of job openings. Uh, I hope uh, it will work because this is really, very really interesting. So yeah, so uh, I have a Safari open over here. So you can directly search M A U I Mave. Okay dot net so it comes with the dot net 6 you should have the latest uh, dot net version and you can clearly see here that uh, this is available for all the devices uh, ios android mac os windows and there is one more os which is tizen at i guess so which is for the tvs uh, for, from samsung so for them as well you can create the mave app so the very first thing that you should have is a uh, visual studio 2022 so uh, you just need to get this visual studio and uh, hit this uh, install button uh, for uh, any like it's all your choice how you install and uh, you can use vs code as well but make sure to install visual studio code to set up the path of android and ios we are going to use visual studio that's it so i already have inside my system so let me open for you guys so visual studio uh open and there are two things that you need to know before proceeding that we need to install xcode as well so you can grab xcode from app store okay so this is my xcode is already running you should have it so you can create your uh, uh, simulators and you can run the uh, app inside simulator and then you need to go here inside visual studio and preferences where you need to set up this path so make sure to set up this path application slash xcode app slash so don't forget to use this after slash as well so this is the first thing the second thing the in the android you should install you need in, to install the android studio as well in order to run android apps okay so i already have an android studio as well so let me open this up quickly and here we go and make sure to go to this virtual device manager where you need to create a new device with at least four gigs of uh, ram uh, with the api let me create quickly for you guys so resizable next uh, then choose this api 33 next so according to the current version okay and then show the advanced setting and here you can uh, this is not enough ram so you can use this 4098 or something like that you can increase the heap memory up to 512 so uh, something like that you can use over here okay so it will be better so i already have it over here so let me run this thing quickly okay so this is it so no <laughs> it's it's a previous one so just ignore it okay so yeah so after that i don't need this thing i can delete this one okay so here we go now let's uh, get started with the terminal okay so i have vs code open over here let me open my vs code quickly 
okay so vs code or visual studio it's all your choice once you have this thing set up uh, you can like uh, like perform operations on any editor it's all your choice okay so first let me use command plus j in order to open this uh, Mavi, okay so this uh, general folder you can choose any location by the way so i have just created to create new projects inside that Mavi folder so after that i'm gonna uh, quickly hit dot net workload install Mavi. so this will be my very first command uh, in order to install the Mavi. okay and once you have it then you can hit the command so i already have it so you just need to hit this command for the very first time and make sure to choose uh, your dotnet version make sure to check your dotnet version so i have 6.0.302 and you can uh, like uh, install onwards okay i'm not sure in the future whatever it may be dotnet 7 or so for now i have dotnet 6 the latest one and after that uh, you can check like uh, uh, work like workload workload space list so like the way you can check that uh, which mave sdk you have after the installation of mave okay and let me now you can check like a uh, flutter doctor uh so there is a tool that you need to install globally in order to check that everything is all right so uh, for that you can simply hit uh, dot net okay dot net dot net tool install a uh, like entity framework code tool if you are guys familiar with that okay so uh, install hyphen g globally you need to install a uh, raid th okay dot net dot mave dot check okay so this uh, dependency that you need to install globally in order to check uh, once you have it I, I already have it so once you have it then you can hit this command mave check okay and you can see all the things uh, the current uh, mave check okay everything is all right sounds promising and uh, it's it's uh, synchronizing the configurations that uh, you don't need to worry about that and uh, opening jdk visual studio i already have it then android sdk check up so i'm done with the setup of android sdk and all so you don't need to worry about that so it will say that uh, this build tools for uh, build tool this build tool is missing this one is missing so what you can do you can install this thing like let me go there quickly so here inside the virtual device manager i don't have this 30 uh what 31 or whatever it was asking me about so let's me let me create new one let me refresh this thing so according to uh, accordingly you can uh, download the required things over here i'm i'm, I'm just uh, i have a 33 so i'm not worried about this thing and uh, system android 31 is required then you can install the things you will get the right tick over here uh, once you have it so attempt to fix let me try yes okay so it's already downloading i don't need to go anywhere else because uh, I, I was not using this thing uh, so this uh, kind of very first time i have used a uh, few minutes before making this video so i am just looking into it what's going on he over here so uh, after doing lots of struggle lots of documentation i came to know that uh, yeah it is possible to run everything on vs code once you have that proper steps okay so let me try this and uh, i also forgot to tell you one more thing once you have xcode app then what you have to do you need to go to the preferences and inside this location make sure to choose your command line make sure this is selected if this is not selected then you will uh, be starting to get the issues while running your first uh, Mave app okay so th that is very important so I already did that that's why uh, I haven't told you guys so before uh, proceeding you should uh, be ready with that thing oh uh, this is done already I guess now this is checking everything is all right then uh, successfully so yeah great 
now what we have uh, we have another four errors for mac catalyst tvos mac os and ios okay so for the ios is not installed it's completely fine i'll, I'll be hitting yes again and hit enter and uh, we need a password might be based on pseudo things okay so let them check the things and let them do their stuff i'm not going to so let's wait for them but we need to hit enter okay and this thing dot net workload install force rollback file which is going to be this uh and what else mac is i'm not sure though what they are talking about um but let me do that quickly in order to proceed with the further things and uh okay enter uh, hopefully everything was correct now and uh, mac os android as apple catalyst okay so is everything is all right or not let me check again Mave check okay so we got the same message but uh we have android setup uh, which is running perfectly fine uh we have visual studio which is perfectly fine open jdk this is running already and so we can run the app at least uh, for now so without uh, going for the further things so it's fine that uh, i i just don't care about tvos now mac catalyst will install later for this tutorial we'll move forward with the normal things that we have okay so let me hit enter and let me create a new one which is dot net new mave okay so uh from this like uh, you can use hyphen n as well to create a repo or the or otherwise you can directly hit dot in new mave so it will create in your current directory and uh, here we go it's created so now uh, you can see here all the things that we got already in the platforms that you can see we have that many of uh, possible things uh, that we can work with and for now we can proceed with the another command which is going to be dot net build okay so dot net build okay hyphen t and colon run hopefully hyphen f uh, which is uh, for the platform or uh, net uh, 6.0 that i have hyphen ios okay hopefully it should work so let me try this thing and uh, so make sure to set up that path without that it won't work okay and uh, it's running already and make sure to uh, open your uh, virtual this thing uh, android uh, emulator because you don't need to open the ios emulator but the android emulator that you, you need to open manually so that's what i understood for now might be they will fix in the future i guess or it works like that so yeah finally we got our first uh, hello world uh, and the kind of counter thing here so that we can see clearly see here okay so this is the first thing that is running completely fine now let's jump to another thing so i'm gonna close this thing uh, which is my ipad air and i'm gonna run android this time and uh, here we go and this is uh this tutorial was specially for the cli stuff uh because you can do this thing manually on windows laptop with using this vs code uh, uh sorry visual studio but uh, uh in mac it is really very tough to do things so that's why uh, i made this tutorial so in order to uh step by step we can organize the things and we can do the things using command line only so because the .NET is actually very popular for the after .NET Core. It, it's going to be popular for their open source kind of things, cross-platform kind of things uh, uh, after .NET uh, 
3.1 i guess um so yeah this is going to take some time to run this thing then let me close the unwanted things which is not needed though okay and uh, here we go let's wait for it oh uh, great this is uh, done and uh, you can clearly see here as well i'm like using this uh, which is running perfectly fine okay now let's try with the mac os okay for that we have a name uh, which is uh, mac list mac catalyst okay so no, not copy let me rename it copy of that mac catalyst oh i want to the spelling mistake and hit enter and let me see if this is working fine or not because according to that mave check we got the error but uh, so it should not work though what happened let me close this oh great we got it already so it means it's working fine and why this is black oh because of the theme i guess that we got uh, currently i'm in black theme so once i change the theme it will change i guess and uh, i'm not sure though let me try settings preferences theme appearance okay which is kind of white theme and i'm not sure why this is i need to restart i guess uh, then it will work so let me try this thing and let me close this up let me try this again so i'm not sure why this is in black color but uh hopefully yeah uh because of uh, that it it was in a uh, like it was not working now let's jump to the folder structure and uh, for that we have a properties where we have launch settings okay this one uh in resources we have fonts images raw splash styles okay so and in platforms we have platforms so bjp we are familiar with let me close this up and normal mave cs project file we have project file where we can see uh for exe we have this uh thing then uh, the normal stuff we got here uh icon setup splash screen setup okay which was a tough thing before in flutter uh when it was a uh, new okay so images fine mave font that you can store from resource folder you can clearly see here asset which is going to be your raw folder which is asset it's completely fine so okay from main page dot xml where you can see the code uh where we did the operation it's kind of minimal code that you will see here and your xml file is like this where you this is a kind of very familiar to uh if you are from xamarin uh environment so this is a kind of uh okay familiar kind of things that we got here and the further things uh, that i don't care about right now so yeah it was the tutorial about installing the things on uh, mac os and uh, it was the first time that i used personally uh, the dotnet map and hopefully there will be a kind of bright future and so thank you so much all of you guys for being with me supporting me all the time it's been a pleasure to be here don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't already and smash that like button if you enjoyed this and you can use this thanks button as well uh in order to support our channel and thank you so much bye, -bye.